Hello, I'm Dr. David Hornbrook, Clinical Director of Education here at Keating Dental Arts, and today we're going to insert four of our new KDZ Aesthetic Monolithic Zirconia Restorations. Dale here has a lot of stuff going on, dark preps due to endodontic treatment and, and PFMs that have been on there for 50 plus years, we decided, Dale, 57 years. Um, so he chose for a number of reasons. He's got an end-to-end -end bite, he's broken teeth in the past, and so we decided to go the monolithic zirconia and the new aesthetic material is very, very translucent. In fact, it rivals most of the all ceramic materials such as the lithium disilicates and the lucite reinforced ceramic. So we're gonna go ahead and bond these into place. So we're gonna use a total etch technique. Let me know if this is sensitive at all. So this is 35% phosphoric acid. Relatively short preps, that's why I like to go with a total etch system. Bender brush, thank you. So we let this sit for 10 to 15 seconds, making sure that it's on all the prep, both dentin and enamel. I utilize the total etch technique. Okay, let's rinse. Okay, you might have a bitter taste. You okay? Mm -hmm. We're gonna leave this. Okay. Got your suction right down there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take the high speed suction. We don't, now we don't want to bond with a total etch technique. We don't want to bond to wet or dry dentin. So what I like to do is rinse, but don't completely dry. Then I take my high speed vacuum and I just remove the excess moisture. Okay. Let's go ahead and mix the primer. We're gonna be using all bond three which is a fourth generation dentin adhesive. So I've left the prep slightly moist. This Albon 3 is a dual cure material, so it actually has a photo initiator as well as it'll set up. So the primer's two parts, A and B. So we'll go ahead and mix it up. Multiple coats, make sure we get enough resin that'll infiltrate the hybrid zone and create a true hybrid zone. Covering again both dentin and enamel. Okay, now we're gonna dry thoroughly with moisture free air. This is a ADEC, made by ADEC, A-D-E-C, warm air tooth dryer. And what it does, it's a Venturi system. When I put my foot on the rheostat, air comes through, runs through this Venturi system and eliminates any moisture and actually creates warm air. So we're gonna apply this first. We need to completely evaporate the alcohol because this is an alcohol system. So we first do it with this. Again, we shouldn't see the resin move around at all anymore. Then we can take our regular air water syringe and aggressively evaporate off that ball to carry that alcohol. Then we're going to go ahead and light cure that. Thank you, Joanne. You okay, Dale? Yeah. We'll do about 10 to 15 seconds per tooth. This is the Velo, V-A-L-O, cordless light from Ultranet. Very, very nice light. Multiple wavelength LEDs, so it'll cure everything in your practice, which is nice. A lot of the LEDs will not. Okay. We're going to go ahead and be using a light cure-only resin cement. This is Verilink Aesthetic. Again, in, in a, P, a PFM, porcelain fusion metal crown, or the traditional monolithic zirconia, we would use a dual cure. But because this material, this aesthetic material, is so translucent, we can use a light cure only. So we go ahead and load the crown, put it to place. Next it'll be the two millimeter light guide, two millimeter light guide. How 
How we doing, Dale? Better than hard. That's good. That's good, good, good. And then you won't turn it, you don't turn it on until I tell you to. And you don't take it out of the mouth until it's turned off, on and off, outside the mouth, or in the mouth. Okay. Perfect, they fit unbelievably. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. I'm gonna just hold the tip. I'll tell you, you're gonna hold the light. I'll tell you when to turn it on. And what I do is I cure dead center for one second. Go ahead, 1001, okay? Turn it off. So when I say okay, I'm gonna have you turn it off. First turn it off, okay. okay. 1001, okay, good. Okay, 1,001, okay, one more, okay, 1,001, okay. Now we're gonna do it from the lingual as well since they're full coverage crowns. If these were veneers, it would just be on the facial. 1,001, 1,001, 1,001, 1001. Okay, that, we're gonna be using the tack and wave technique. So that is our tack. Now we have our regular light guide. If you only had one light, you would just switch and take the two millimeter tip off of that light and put the regular. Now I'm gonna cure back and forth for about five seconds. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. Okay, then we have a number 12 Bard Parker blade. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and use a number 12 barred Parker blade, since we've waved it, number 12, which is a curved blade. And we gently, and I apologize if I pinch you, we gently peel away the excess. Sorry, are you okay? Yeah. The LEDs are so hot in here that... Okay, go ahead and suction. Okay. You sure? I on the other end of it too. What's that? I was on the other end of my church. <laughs> okay, so we'll cut a lot of that. I'll just be working here a little bit. Okay, so if you've done this right, this excess just peels away. If you over cure, it's just harder to peel away. If you've undercured, it'll be a little gooey, and then you just zap it with your light for another couple seconds. Last area. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Go ahead and suction. Okay, another piece of floss. Chin down a little bit. Piece of floss. They look nice. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and floss through. Next will be deox. You okay? Mm-hmm. Kinda nice to be able to floss your teeth again, Dale. Yeah, I know. Remember, this hasn't been fully cured yet. They're just tacked and waved. Deox. Deox is clear. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and use a glycerin or an oxygen inhibition medium, and this happens to be Deox, D-E-O-X, from Ultradent. We put it around all the margins, and then we're gonna go ahead and cure, and once you grab that other light, we'll cure with both lights. And this is a light cure only, so I'm gonna cure for at least 40 seconds per tooth, both facially and lingually. Put the other tip on, other tip. That's only for the tack. Okay, let's go ahead and grab two lights and you're gonna stick it right on the crown. Oh, no, we didn't do that tooth. Right on the crown. 
imagine being like perpendicular, right, like that. Right, mostly gingival third, remember the preps are short, so there's. This new KDZ aesthetic, one of the zirconia materials, really translucent, so we'll be able to cure right through it. Get a 90 degree angle. Right. Yours is off. There you go. Am I off? No, you're on. Yeah, you're on now. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and rinse. You okay? Mm -hmm. But are you having fun? <laughs> okay. Turn toward me a little bit, Dale. Chin down a little bit. Good. Bless you, Bob. Okay, we're just gonna take this Bard Parker again, go around the margins. He fits so well that there's really no excess to remove, which is nice. If there's any little ledge or area where there's maybe a little bit of cement that you can't take off of the Bard Parker, we're going to take a 25 micron finishing diamond and we use the diamond with water, very gently, I call it painting the margins, we're going to go around the margin. I almost use the diamond like a scaler. Again, it's so light because these things fit so well. Okay, Explorer, please. Here it is right here, and mirror. Go ahead and check the margins. Go ahead and use the slide ejector, please. Okay, explore. Wow, these look great. A new smile, my friend. Mm -hmm. I don't think your wife's going to be too happy with all the girls chasing you. Yeah. Piece, piece of floss again, please. Chin down. I got one right here. I got one right here. I got one right here. Nice. So, Dale, when I, um, I'm going to ask you to bite down. How's it feel? Just tell me it feels good, okay? Okay, let's rinse yeah, first. great. Let me check the bite. I want to make sure it's not high. A little bit of bleeding just from the removing of the cement. Go ahead and open for me. There's a little piece of cement right on his tongue. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and stick your tongue out. Good. Okay. Bite down. How's that feel? Yeah, it feels very good. Perfect. Chin down a little bit. Great. Right down again. Monolithic zirconia that looks great. It's a concept we haven't had before. This is a KDZ aesthetic. Monolithic zirconia. Okay, wraps it up. Well, you saw how we were able to use a material that is unbelievably strong, really the strongest ceramic we have in dentistry, yet it rivals that of most of our all all ceramic traditional materials. With his end-to-end -end bite and his history of wear 
and breaking incisal edges of enamel. This is an ideal material for this. We don't compromise aesthetics, we maximize strength. Hopefully you have an opportunity to use the new aesthetic material sometime in the near future in a case in your own practice.